Hey guys, so right when you get into the game, the first thing you're going to see is tutorial start alert. We're going to hit yes because I don't even remember what the tutorial is. So I figured I don't want to miss anything that, you know, that we could potentially miss. So I made an archer because my main character was a warrior or is a warrior. And I wanted something completely opposite because I haven't played this game in about three months. And I kind of forgot like how to play it, which inspired me to make this series, basically because... You know, if you don't know how to play something, why not start from the beginning? So we got the Black Spirit here, and first thing it wants us to cover is picking up the quest. We grab the quest, and now we're going to hit circle back out of it. And then we're going to keep running forward. The goal of this series is pretty much to teach every person the basics, things pros sometimes forget about because they've sunk so much hours into the game. So I don't know... If I'm gonna watch any cutscenes, like I probably skipped the beginning cutscene because you guys can watch that if you want. Like if you're playing the game, I understand, but I doubt you guys want to watch it again in this playthrough. If you guys do want to watch it, let me know down in the comments though, because that's easily something I can fix. All right, Aiden, what's up? So this guy's pretty important, but I'm gonna try not to overwhelm you guys with like a lot of things you just don't need to know right now. So we're gonna confirm, and then it looks like we got the quest. Yes, we do. Whenever you hit quest, if the quest says in progress it means you already have the quest if that's not obvious already and i promise future videos won't sound so official but you know i'm just trying to get in the groove of things but we want to talk to this girl i think maybe not i thought she had, okay well usually when they have pictures over their head that means you want to talk to them but um it says examine the ancient artifact if you guys see other other quests at the right of my screen it's because on my other character they transfer over for some reason but Try not to pay attention to those. I will mention the quest that we are doing. So we just observe the artifact. That's the first quest you ever do. It doesn't get much simpler than that. And feel free to read all of the lore because this game has tons of it. And I really appreciate that because, you know, it's a, it's a really good way to get immersed. But yeah, okay, so I keep hitting X, but now we're supposed to talk to her. So we're going to accept this. These videos might have a lot of editing too in them. I'm not really sure. This is the first video, so you know, I don't really know <laughs> what I'm doing yet. I got to make sure the audio sounds good. Make sure my voice sounds as good as it can because that in itself is a challenge. So, please summon the Black Spirit. So the way you do that is hit down on the D-pad. And then you confirm, and that's how we get our first piece of gear. But it looks like whenever the quest is sparkling like that, that does mean you have another quest to get from person or the Black Spirit. So we're going to hit X on the Black Spirit and we're going to hit warm up. So that is another quest that we have. And I would definitely keep the potions because you can craft them later on into bigger potions. That's something I made a mistake about as a newbie when I was playing. But um, if you do want to get rid of them for gold, just go for it. I mean, honestly, they're really easy to get and it's nothing you need to stress about right now. But they do weigh a lot over time, so if you need to get rid of them, definitely do that. So, go into your inventory, like I did. You hit start and just see inventory, hit X on it. Then we'll equip our first helmet. We're looking pretty much the same, actually. I was going to say we look really cool, but you look the same. I'm not going to lie. Also, you guys might be noticing at the bottom left of your screen, there's a chat that's just really annoying. And if you're like me and don't want that appearing constantly, hit start, go to settings, Go to interface settings, I said that really weird, interface settings, and go to chat window settings, and you can just copy what I have. I have mostly everything off, I think I have a few things on, like whisper, in case if people want to whisper to me, I'll know, and maybe they want to give you free stuff, I think you'll want to know about that. Party, because if I'm in a party, I might want to actually see what they have to say, and system party item, I don't really even know what that is, but it's on, so I'm just going to leave it there, but just rewind the video, this is all what I have on and off. And then after you do it, hit triangle to confirm. And then you might have to restart the game because all the chat that was at the bottom left is going to be frozen there until you restart the game. So we're doing the Black Spirit quest. If it eventually gets too hard, we'll start doing side quests. But maybe we'll just do side quests in general. But right now our first quest is defeat Gray Fox. So let's do that. I have no idea how to play this character, so I'm definitely just learning like you guys are. Okay, so we have a crossbow or like an arm bow or something eventually you'll get pets to loot for you i'm sure you guys have heard all about that if you're debating on buying it i would definitely recommend it this game is a lot of fun but it's definitely a grind 
but a good kind of grind. Like, I had a lot of fun playing my first character. My highest level character is level 59, and then my second highest level character is 56. And my highest is a warrior, and my second highest is a, um, a dark knight. So yeah, this is definitely pretty different compared to what I'm used to. But yeah, I really don't know any of my abilities. I felt like R2 should do something, but it doesn't. R1's like my only ability right now that I can do. So we're gonna keep doing it until we do this mission, and then I'll show you guys something. Don't attack me, Wolfie. I'm a good boy. I'm a good Christian boy. Alright, so open up quest window. So we do already have this quest done, so we can run and turn it in. But one quick thing is if you want to look at your skills and you really want to like learn how to play your class, this is where you do it. So all skills, these are all our skills. R1 is my skill that I was using. And it looks like that really is my only skill. R2 left and right, let's try this. Okay, so I do have a melee attack. And then holding L2 it, and moving your L3 is your rolling. I know this might, I'm, I might be saying this super weird, honestly, but you know what, just give me a break and I'm sure by the second video or maybe the fourth video or something like that, I will know what I'm talking about a little more. Can't remember how we got here. All right, so we're gonna turn this quest in to this guy. If you guys are following along with the video, hopefully you're here with me. We got more potions. And as these videos go on, they're going to get way more advanced because I do know a lot about this game. So if you're running to a quest, for example, and you don't want to manually run there, just hit L3 and it'll auto sprint there for you as long. That was a bad example. As long as you have like a marker on your top right map, you have to, you'll see like a little line. Your character will follow that line to wherever it ends. So we're arriving right now. You turn in this quest. I think there's gonna be a cutscene, so I'm just gonna skip it. it. Must be destiny that brings you here. But um, I definitely would recommend watching it if this is your first time playing. The darkness. Basically. So we're talking to the black spirit. I always want to call him a black phantom. Don't ask why. Not even I can answer that question. All right. It looks like these are the quests that I abandoned because they were showing up. But they're from my other character. They're they're just passive quests, basically, that you'll get over time no matter what. So you don't really need to know about that now anyways. And then find out more about the artifact. So we go up to this giant artifact, you know, a giant square that's spinning around. That's like the definition of an artifact in my book. And we talk to the artifact. And this is going to be a cutscene, but I skipped the cutscene. And then we'll turn in the quest right here. All right, so we got a speed boost, which these are really nice. I almost wish there was like an easier way to get these in the future because um, it's running fast, you know, it's really nice. How could you hate running fast and make sure I know there's not going to be a lot of these on my game because I've already done it and some of the stuff from each character will carry over. But like if a, if a character or an NPC has a question mark on it, make sure you talk to them because it gives you knowledge, which will give you energy in the future, and it's very useful. Eventually, there will be like events where it wants you to get knowledge on each character, and you can get some really good stuff that would cost real money for free. And it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, that's a huge tip. Whenever you see a question mark, I know it might seem overwhelming at first, but I would highly recommend doing that. So our next quest is Defeat Small Tree Spirit. We need to defeat seven of them. As you can see at the top right, your map, your um, you'll see a bunch of yellow dots, and that is pretty much what you need to do. All right, I'm trying to see my new abilities. I feel like I look like I'm knowing what I'm doing, but I'm really not. Okay, R2 just did something. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. Yeah, I feel like a huge noob, but just I'm so used to being a melee character. Not gonna lie. But you know, as we level up, we will get new abilities, and that will come in, like, huge for us. So, I just got an S on Wolves, and I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure your your combat ranking will carry over from each character. So, if you end up wanting to switch characters, your combat ranking will carry over. And if you don't know what that is, the higher combat ranking you have, um, 
the more damage you do to enemies, and I think maybe the less they do to you. Like you can see Grey Wolf S at the top middle of the screen. That will carry over. Because it looks like I have S on everything, and usually getting an S is pretty hard, I would say. And it takes a lot of time. There's been times where I spent like hours trying to get an S, and I had to give up because I'm like, whoa, I've been here for like two hours wasting time. So, yeah, I would recommend not spending too much time doing that, but if you have the time and you want to do that, then definitely go for it because it's only going to help you in the long run. It is kind of cool having range. Like, being a warrior, I mean, it's pretty obvious that you would be up and close, or close and personal. English is hard, dude. But, um... But yeah, it is a lot different. Like, I feel like I'm not... Whoa! Okay, apparently I have a, a giant bow. How did I do that? I don't know. So yeah, as, as you can see, like, I'm a new... I'm totally new to this. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of... I'm in it for the ride, honestly. I'm just doing it to have a good time. This game is quite the adventure. It's very immersive. And there's a real player right there. I nerfed down the amount of real players I can see for the sake of quality. Because I am playing on PS4. I might have already said that, but um, PS4 definitely takes some hits compared to PC. Like, it's a lot laggier, but mainly only in the cities. Like, right now you can tell it's a pretty smooth ride. But um, yeah, let's summon our Black Phantom Spirit. <laughs> I, I, I told you guys I was going to get that wrong at some point. It is extremely addicting to just sit here and kill mobs. And that's a fact. You guys will definitely see yourself doing that a lot. So let's pull up the Black Spirit, which we hit do by hitting down on the D-pad again. I'll stop repeating like some of that obvious stuff eventually, but I just want you guys to remember, basically, and it doesn't take any time to repeat myself. So, um, Black Spirit gift inventory slots. So inventory slots are huge because this game's all about looting. So inventory slots are giant. I'll be showing you guys a lot of cool things on how to get more inventory slots that I don't see like any videos talking about. Which is ridiculous because this game has been out for quite a while. Um, Tree Spirit Expert, let's grab that quest too. Because Black Spirit quests are definitely like priority number one. You can do all the all the side quests you want because that's what I did on my first time playing, and it's definitely worth it. But um Black Spirit will give you a lot of the items that will make side quests easier. And it gives you really important items like a free mount, gear if you start having trouble with side quests and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely worth prioritizing but if you have a side quest that's really close to you then hey why not do it definitely worth it so i'm just gonna keep following the path i'm gonna hit l3 and let my guy auto run there and i will see you guys in a second we actually just got to the quest giver i accidentally hit triangle on her but i backed out so you guys could see it but we are at the quest giver so we're gonna open it up we're gonna confirm the quest we're gonna hit r1 because the quest is sparkling and it I want to say something, but I keep forgetting to mention it. But I will mention it next time, because I'm assuming we'll have plenty of chances to talk about it. Oh, so we do have our two inventory expansions. This one is probably bound to our character, which it is. Hit X on it, and now we have two more slots for it, which is very useful. All right, so let's start doing the quest. With our newfound weapon, Triangle uses bow. Yeah, I should really look up some of my abilities with this bow, which I highly recommend you guys doing as well, because look at me, I'm just like, I'm swinging everywhere. But for a lot of these beginning quests, it's mainly just kill the enemy. And like I said before, I would recommend at least trying to rank up some of them, like... But the higher ranks you get over time, you do get better drops from those enemies. I'll probably make a separate video explaining all those little things, or explaining things that I might have missed in the series. It's hard to say, to be honest, because um, there's a lot to this game, but I'm definitely going to do my best. Let's kill these guys because they're disrespecting me by hitting me while I'm trying to turn in this quest. Just die, sir. Oh, what is this? So this is just like auto attack. That's my R2. If you guys are using the same class as me, let me know how you're liking it or if you have any tips for me. I could obviously definitely use them. So we did just get this. When you hit square on an item that you don't know what it does, it will pop up a thing that lets you know. Like right now, this is a sub-weapon box, so this is going to be an attachment. It's not a new weapon, but it will help us deal more damage. Let's accept this quest. Oh yeah, so when you see a quest with that little 
how it has a little symbol next to imp um that means it's a black spirit quest so normal quests that aren't as important won't have that black spirit quests have that and whenever you see that i would definitely recommend doing them but what do you want us to do now we're basically just they're slaves in this game we just do what they want without question and let's grab his quest too because you know killing two birds with one stone you can't really go wrong with it in this game multitasking is kind of key unless you want to spend a million years doing everything which is totally okay i mean everything is up to you how you play is up to you oh wait he has a quest okay i see study on imps confirm so we probably already did his quest maybe because we already know so much about imps Oh wow, that was really cool. I just did L2R1 with that attack. Okay. I, I like where this is going. And again, sorry if my audio sounds a little weird. It's just because this is the first video and I need time to actually edit it and see how it's going to play out. You do level up very fast also in the beginning of these games. And I'm thinking maybe in my next videos... Maybe I'll only give tips when the occasion arises, and what I mean by that is like when I would do some, like the moment I have to do something, then I'll explain why I'm doing it. Because I kind of feel like making this video, I'm all over the place, and I'm gonna learn while I make these videos because you know that's just part of learning, I guess. You just learn by doing. So yeah, just give me some time. This is the first video, so I learned pretty fast. I'm kind of a neat freak when it comes to releasing these types of videos because, you know, I don't want to give you guys wrong info. But that's probably bound to happen eventually. I'm sure there's going to be some veteran out there that's been playing this for 97 years that's going to know more than me. But, you know, at least I'm trying to give you tips. Especially since I'm not a like, total veteran, I actually, my, my tips are very fresh. Like Febreze. Alright, I'm just, you know, being addicted to killing all these guys. Yeah, let's just dip out. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's like a whole nother, a whole nother subject. And if you guys don't want to risk it and run all the way to an area that you don't want to waste your time going to to see if you have a quest to turn in, you can actually be smart and hit start, go to quest, and then click on one of the red check marks because that means you did the quest. And it should take us to where we need to turn it in we're just gonna auto run because it's right there and it kind of gets you going on the right on the right track so we'll turn in this quest all right we got a lot of stuff there has been causing trouble seasoned veteran we were just talking about veterans what do you know so i guess that's gonna be it for this first video because we kind of hit a nice checkpoint and this will allow me to make sure everything's going good with this first video because, like I said, it's the first one. There's a lot of things I have to make sure are working, like audio, maybe the formula of the video. I'll switch it up. Like I said, my mind is already in different, going in different spots of how I want to make these videos, like bringing it up when the occasion arises, or do I want to just keep talking about random tips that I learned throughout the future, or I don't know yet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it helped you in any way, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like, sub, and comment because it does help a small channel like mine out. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.